Um, okay, I'll, I'll start. We okay. usually do kamikaze because comedy stores, that's how we are. It's just kamikaze. Jump so, in. Comedy store. Hi, welcome to the Comedy Store Podcast. Let's be professional, huh? <laughs> anyway, welcome to the Comedy Store Podcast. Guys, we have Carmen Lynch with us oh. today. Thank you for having me. Oh my I'm God, so this is so exciting. I love this tall mic for you. I feel intimidated. Do you? Yeah, I feel like you're just looking down on me. I was before, but now... <laughs> Officially with this thing. <laughs> and now yeah. it's like... Uh, so, wait. So, we were talking about a second ago, scoliosis. My scoliosis. So, you really had... That. I'm a sco. I'm a yeah. sco. I, I don't know if they still do this, but they would make you bend over in elementary school. And wait a they minute. run your fingers through, like... Do you remember that? Your ass? What do you mean? Through, like, your spine? As you slowly came up, they would rub your spine. Well, this perverted school you went to, where was In Virginia, this? Virginia. Okay. You would, yeah, yeah, no. you would uh, touch your toes. <laughs> and then they would, like, slowly <laughs> bend over. That's what they do at a prison. Catholic school? Yeah, no, this was public. Holy This was shit. all for free. Yeah. <laughs> and then they rub you, and then they kept making me do it. And then my I, I went home, and my mom goes... The school nurse called. We need to see an orthopedic doctor. Oh. And then it just kept getting worse. And then they put me in a brace. And that was the end of my How life. How old were you? So seventh, eighth, and part of ninth. Were right. a lot of kids going down like, can you do that again? Can you feel my back again? <laughs> <laughs> kind of enjoyed that. I want to yes. bend over. It did feel cool? good. It was like a massage because they rub they, around your spine. No, I know. Nobody touched. Really? No. No one touched you as a child? No. Weird. I was very dirty. And oh. they were like, Ooh, we don't want it. <laughs> we don't want what she has, scurvy. Uh, scurvy. Scurvy. But oh. uh, the scoliosis, I remember my brother, Billy, his, he was crooked yeah. a little. And I don't remember a back brace, though. I mean, they, like, my sister had scoliosis, but she didn't have to wear a brace. Mm -hmm. Because if you're fully grown... Which they, um, this is going to get very medical. I love Once it. Once you get your period. <laughs> you do, you pretty much grow. Life is downhill from there. <laughs> yes. We know that. So, <laughs> yes. So she had her period because she got everything early, her big boobs. Oh, and your sister? Ah. Really? But I was late to everything. So yeah. I had to wear the brace until I got my period. <laughs> so I just kept waiting to bleed. It was like the most exciting thing. They were like, we're going to put you in this brace and hopefully you'll bleed. And, and you <laughs> <laughs> it was just like pulling you squeeze it tight enough, you bleed. <laughs> it's weird. And you know what's really sad? I was growing so much because, you know, yeah. I'm tall that they had to change, give me a new brace. I outgrew the brace. <laughs> it was sad. I didn't think this was going to be a funny story, <laughs> but now... I'm just, I, but wow. And so you outgrew it and then yeah. just, they just give you another one? They and make it out of... This is crazy. Paper mache. It's kind of like you lie down and they put wet things. This sounds like I was born in the 1800s. I, it really does. I'm waiting, like, do they step on your back and get you in there, like gone with the wind when they they, <laughs> they put you in that little, they, what's that called? A, uh, oh, 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 a girdle. corset. Corset. Oh. Cor corset. It was like a corset, but it was like these, these like strips that would dry on you so that it would fit your figure. Mm -hmm. And then you would come back and pick it up. <laughs> Like it was like paper mache. I don't, I'm not. I feel bad thing. that you had. No, thank you. But it I mean, is, you laugh, but whatever. I'm never yeah. gonna not laugh. But no. that's. I'm sorry. But look at me now. I'm yeah. pretty straight now. And you stand up straight, like when you were a it's kid. It's on the inside. It's like this. It's okay. like sideways. Like if you look at my X-ray, it's kind of like an S. Yeah. Like scoliosis. S for scoliosis. Sassy. Sassy. <laughs> Did, um, so does it bother you? Like, does you get back pain? No, I get now? back pain, but it's, I think that's just uh, from flying because you know how we are. Oh, we yeah, travel and stuff. But And being tall. And like, being tall. And, you know, you got to back I, I don't fly first class. Let's be honest Why not? Here. I'm I mean, kidding. oh, <laughs> you, you famous enough? <laughs> Do it. Hello. Oh my. Uh, God, no. no, sometimes, yeah, you yeah. get you get jammed in the back. You get I've done it. I just did it last week. But I'm a sleeper on the plane. Oh, you are. See, I can't sleep. Oh. How do you sleep with all that sound? I think it's depression, but oh. it's like, or narcolepsy. I I'm what not is that? Sure. <laughs> Every time, no. as soon as the engine starts, I, I'm like, yeah. And then, oh. uh, I always take early flights. Okay. Like, like I try like not 7 to do. Yeah, 6 a.m., okay. 5. How do you I, get up? I, I stay up. 
Oh my I stay god! Up. You're one of those. A, a problem. People, yeah. <laughs> people always say that to me. They're like, "Just stay up." I'm like, "I'm asleep the minute I'm off the stage." Like, really? I cannot stay up. I'm the worst. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm night. I'm a nighty. I'm really? a night person. Like yeah. six in the morning. I'm like, all right. You know. I remember uh, a couple weeks ago, I was driving to the airport with my friend, and I stayed up all night. Uh huh. And I was driving us, and I said that, and he goes, "Why would you tell me?" You haven't slept. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Driving it's not us. something you want to tell It's me. not, and we were going to Burbank. Yeah. So it's like, you know, 25, 20 minutes from here, 25 minutes. Yeah. So it wasn't like a... <laughs> also, driving here is kind of scary. Oh, yeah. It's a little psychotic. Well, because just people are not smart. Yeah. Not smart. But I, I, I tell you this, driving in New York lately, yeah. I'm like, they can't shit on California anymore. Really? They're I find terrible it so over much there harder too. here. Like here, I have to drive defensively. Sure, always. Yeah. But you don't do that everywhere? No, I feel like people are just, they're they're aggressive here. I, I mean, I, I don't really drive in New York, but I drive in Virginia oh. when I go home. Oh, Virginia's And Virginia is like, nice. they're like nice people. Laid back. Yeah. All for lovers or whatever. Yeah, whatever. That's I don't know if that part's true. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, I, I drove from Philly to Long Island to do a gig. Uh, last Sunday. Yeah. And it was busy. I get it. It's the shore time. Everybody's going in and out of the shore, coming yeah. home and to school, all that shit. So I, I, I traffic, I understand because I live here. Right. You know, tra- it could take me an hour to get to my apartment and I live four blocks away. Mm-hmm. Like that's, yeah, that's how traffic is here. So I'm used to that. Yeah. But in New York, I was like, oh, they, they move at least. Yeah. Like if you're going to the tunnel, right, from um, Jersey, right. you're you're going, it goes eight lanes down to one. Right. And they do it. Yeah. And they do it in a timely fashion. Yeah. If that was LA, I like, uh, we'd never get through the tunnel. Yeah. yeah They'd yeah, just yeah, be yeah. looking at it like, is it a cartoon? What do yeah. we do? Like, so that part I get. But New York ha- also is turning afraid to drive like they are here. Yeah, yeah. And they're hesitant and they're causing accidents. So there's an accident every 10 uh, feet. I just feel like there's always It took an me animal. four hours to get to Long Island. Four. Really? That's Vegas, bitch. That's, That's a lot. That's Vegas. Yeah. I always feel like an animal is going to pop out here because you guys have so many <laughs> No, those are people. Those are people. <laughs> yeah. Those little things. <laughs> Those furry little things. Oh, yeah. People? A raccoon will step oh, yeah. up to it. But we yeah. got raccoons in Philly now. Yeah, in yeah, In South yeah. Philadelphia. Yeah. Where are they coming from? There was a deer. Yeah. On, in, in South Philadelphia. Deer Fil- everywhere. Yeah. Why? Yeah, fuckers. They're not killing them fast enough. Please die. Please <laughs> die if you're a deer. Please die. <laughs> Do you ever drive to Jersey? Because Jersey's scary with no, the deer. No, I never, I never drive in New York because I don't have Smart. a car. So you can. So train I, I'll it. just have an opener and be like, "You're driving." Like, there's so many openers in Astoria in Queens, and I'm like, "I don't care if you're funny. You're picking me up and you're dropping me off because there's there's so many." Yeah, you you're know, like, it's where like are the a personal chauffeur? Astoria. Yeah. <laughs> to you, is that where you live? Yes. Astor- oh, Please don't okay. visit. Okay. Me. Not you. Okay. The people. Yeah. Oh, the, the, go see. Carmen. No, don't in find Astoria. me. Yeah. Oh. No, but I'm saying like Queen. Well, Queens is big, but um, yeah. I'm saying like that's awesome because you can have a car there. I could, but mm-hmm. in I a mean, store in Queens, yeah, yeah. I mean, the public transportation is so good. Oh, it's the best. Uh, but yeah, I like driving to like if I have a gig in Baltimore. Yeah, if I'm Phil- I'll drive. Yeah, it's two hours. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it is easier, obviously, to keep a car in Philly than. New York City. Right. Um, and so uh, I like driving to like Connecticut. I don't care. I'll go wherever. Yeah, yeah. I love to drive. Not four hours when it's bad. When right. It's, when it's just people hesitant, not afraid to drive. Yeah. Then I get pissed. I love driving too. Then I want to drone and I want to kill people. Do it's you a like- control thing, I think. Are driving? You control? Yeah. 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 What is... Are you, are you bad at sitting in the passenger seat? Are you like... No. No, I could sit, chill. I'll stay awake, too, for people. Like, oh, really? See, even I though can't. I want to yeah. go to sleep. Yeah, I want to sleep. Because I'm I sleeper. try. Oh, all of a sudden you can sleep? I can. <laughs> How can you sleep with the car? It's only on a plane that I can. Really? I sleep in a car and I sleep on boats. I could probably sleep yeah. in that engine on the plane. Really? I get a window yeah. seat and I'm... Do you are you one of those people who sleeps all night? Like nobody, like there could be a bird or a an earthquake outside. 100%. I don't know why I've slept to an earthquake, but like anything. <laughs> They're pretty much the same. Yeah. Chirp, chirp. 
Uh, I, and you just sleep. All only night. one earthquake woke me up. Yeah, and that, and I've been here a long time. Wow. So, uh, but it was that was a big one. It was seven point four or something. So that my TV scary. fell over. Oh things fell God. over. But yeah, I swear they could come kidnap me in the middle of the night, and I it's went like you're no. asking for it. Please, I would have. It's exciting. <laughs> Do it while you can. It's the best. Do you Wait. live alone? Yes. Perfect kidnapper, kid, kidnapping victim. Come on in. Come on. Do you leave the door unlocked? I'm a heavy night? sleeper, guys. Oh, my God. You don't even need to get Sometimes drunk. Sometimes I leave the door open and nothing yeah. happens. Wow. Come on, everybody. <laughs> No murder, <laughs> just a little bit of no, no, no. a... No, no, just a yeah. little touching. I mean, with hair like that, you Slight think? penetration. My yeah. hair is kind of pinned up when I sleep, but I'll Ooh. let it down. I'll let it out. Yeah. Out. You wait till tonight. <laughs> it's going to happen. I can tell. They come in. They're like, who's this girl in a bonnet? What is this? <laughs> it's like, do cover it. With that lip gloss <laughs> and the hair flip? Oh, come shit. Come on. Do I have lip gloss on? Good. Oh. Is it good? Yeah. All right. Come on, everybody. I did it in the car. Yeah, oh, <laughs> it's going to happen, don't And it's worry. a lip plump. <sighs> oh, <Just> God. <laughs> now it's really going to happen. Now there's going to be like five. Ten guys. Ten. Wow, minimum? I hope. Yeah. That's what I'm asking for. It's never too late. No. Yeah. I can fit a lot of people. In and you planet. have no scoliosis. <laughs> I no. will after that. <laughs> <laughs> what a night. Is this a porn? What's going on? I hope so. Yeah. Um, all right. So let's, so you're in New York. Um, what did you, from Virginia to New York? Yeah. You moved to do stand up or? No, I fell into stand up by accident. I moved to become an actor. Does. Oh my God. I knew we had a connection. Oh my God. You too? That's why I moved here. To become an actor. Actor. Yes. No idea what stand-up was. Never followed it. Same. Virginia, come on. Who follows stand-up? I like, mean, I knew my... I have six brothers, so yeah. they would play like oh, okay. Eddie Murphy and Richard yeah. Pryor. But like you had to be giant. Dice, you know, like right. that. You had to be giant yeah. for me to know. I had no idea. My parents really? didn't play anything. Well, my mom's from Spain, so she oh. didn't know anything. And my dad listened to country music. Oh. So what are you going to do? God. No, I didn't even know it was an option as a career until I sure. like, you know, moved to New York. And then we went to a show, me and some friends. I wish I remembered who was on it. But what club? It was New York Comedy Club, but it was like the shitty one. Not 24th Street. It was 24th because I lived on 23rd. Uh -huh. But it was like back in the day when there were like rats on the stage. Like now it's what? like... Now it's a good club. Don't tell me that. I, I love... mean, no offense to... Uh, <clears throat> I won't <laughs> mention any names, but it, it used to be kind of sketchy. Let's just say that. With really? character, with charisma. With charisma. But, well, uh, I'll tell you, they cleaned it up because... It's amazing now. One yeah. of my favorites. Oh, yeah. And then Fourth and they have a new Street one. Yeah. and now taking over Stand Up New York. Yeah. Which is insane. Yeah, and they have Con uh, Connecticut, Stanford. Oh, right, right. Yeah. I've done that one. I forgot. And we drove, and it wasn't good. I mean, the show was great, but yeah. coming back, yeah. we, we were doing the midnight on 24th. Right. Like, we did the show in Oh, that's a lot. But that's how he books it. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it'll be fun. And then the opener drove, and we were, it was, again, accident after accident yeah. after accident. You couldn't get back in. I can never do that when they're like, you have to be back in the city. I was so for excited. For a seller spot. I'm, like, so nervous. <laughs> like, I'm like, just cancel everything. I'll just, I'm so <laughs> no. nervous like that. Yeah. So you saw this show and yeah. you can't remember who was on. What year was it? No. Um, it had to be like right after 9-11 maybe. Oh, shit. It was like 20 years ago. Okay. Yeah. So that's when you started. Pretty much, yeah. 2000 and... Like it was like I had dabbled in it before 9-11, but not. It could have been 2020. I mean, 2000, <laughs> 2020. 2020. I just could started. Have been two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. I was like, what stand up? <laughs> And uh, no, it was like, t I think it was like 2000-ish, 2000 probably. Now the acting thing, did you go on a lot of auditions and stuff? I did, but do you remember back then, like it was like in Backstage Magazine. Yeah. So you had to staple your your headshot to your resume. How old was that? You like, just gave me anxiety. I know, but yeah. do you remember that? And you of had course. to like align it so the stapler didn't like land on your eye. Yeah. Or like or anywhere. Or a word. This I went to an audition in New York City 
took me forever to find it. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm taking public transportation. I'm walking around and wearing stockings like yeah. an idiot, uh-huh. chafing. I'm dying, right? Yes. It's hot. Uh-huh. And I bring my headshot in. I'm like, hi, I'm here. Hey, Mimi. You know, so dumb and young. And, and she goes, are these staples? And I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, that's my resume. Yeah. I'm trying to be you know, a different person, not the hood rat I am. And I'm like, oh, yes, yes, staples. Like, I did something good. And she goes, if I rip my stocking, it's going in the trash. So I glued for years. Glued. (laughs) I glued my resume because of that lady. you would get the bubbles. Remember, you'd get the the glue bubbles? Yeah, but the stick glue was good. It was, you go flat. And I I became, like, real anal, and I'd be like... Yeah. I hours on it. I have so many memories of that. It's the worst. And then if, like, didn't align, you had to, like, yeah, cut the edges. You're so lucky now with digital. They're like, so you're spoiled. You guys don't know how hard tricks. it was. We had to walk five miles in the snow <laughs> with our headshots. <laughs> <laughs> and a stapler just a digging stapler in our gun. thighs. Yeah. <laughs> and a staple gun. <laughs> Imagine that. It, was, it doubled as a weapon, but we used it. <laughs> we used it so we wouldn't get kidnapped. <laughs> Kidnap her. Yeah. No, it was it was a lot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's and, crazy. And then I would get to the audition and uh and the guy the like the the guy I was supposed to read with was mm-hmm. like five two. And I'm like, there's no way I'm getting this. I'm towering over this guy. And it's not even a comedy. <laughs> so now I'm supposed to like say out my serious lines to this You're short. Crying. Yeah. And he's like, Does anybody have an umbrella? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I can see your bald spot. <laughs> like this is <laughs> So Are I you never Jewish or is that Yeah. No, it was it was and that's what got me into stand up because I was so frustrated yeah. that I would talk about that on stage. Oh as you know. That's great. So all my jokes were tall. They was like, shut up with the tall, we get it. But I'm like, that's all I knew, you know? Sure. But it's like, yeah, that's what was getting you by basically. Right. You're like, right. this is what I know. I'm talking about me. I'm trying yeah. to keep it personal. Because coming up with like sometimes when I first started doing stand up I mean, I'm a messed up one. I worked here for so long at the Uh comedy store as a waitress because I was trying to be an actress and no one wanted me. Uh Anyway, so... I can relate. (laughs) When all else fails, Uh do (laughs) stand-up. And so I did. And um, uh, when I would talk about that, that's what I would talk about. Like, whatever whatever audition I didn't get or whatever. My family, I still... I mean, I still shit on my family. Always, of course. (laughs) Scoliosis, my mother, yes. all of that. Yeah. It's, it's easy, but yeah. it's also you don't want to be doing what other people are doing. Like when people are talking about topical stuff, yeah. then you're not overlapping right. so much. But I, I felt like, all right, I'm talking about something different. Now I feel like everybody's talking about their mother. I'm like, oh, I'm doing it wrong again. But do you remember like when, like, I remember I got into therapy really early <laughs> Okay. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm in therapy. And now everyone's in therapy. But back oh, yeah. then, it was like, oh, she's in therapy. What's wrong with her? Betterhelp.com, yeah. guys. <laughs> is for a, a good time. No, yes. uh, they're not our yeah. sponsors, but we'll get them. Yeah, yeah, but now everything's been done. Everything's been talked about. Yeah, you're about. right. It's like, yeah. and uh, one time I, I did a joke and I was with Dom Irera and he goes, hey, I have a joke like that. And I was like, yeah, because you're like the first comic. Like, right. I understand. You, you were in when it was fresh, you yeah. know, like, oh, shit, that's so edgy. And now, like, to be edgy is, I don't even know what. No, I don't know. I don't think there's a You got to take your clothes off, I think. <laughs> On stage. <laughs> you just, I think that's been done. But you just come yeah. out with pasties and like. Yeah, and that's like comedy. I don't know. Like what <laughs> what, what, else, what else can be done? I, I I mean, maybe transition. Is that edgy? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe, right? I mean, I'm doing it I, in Spanish because I'm like running out of English jokes. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh, okay. No, I want to talk about that too because um, you did a special in English and in Spanish, which is, by the way, just amazing. Gracias, señora. Sí, sí. señorita. Mm-hmm. I, I only speak a little Spanish okay, just to it. get me laid, and oh. then I'm out. And <laughs> Javier. <laughs> when we wake up, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Are the kidnappers Spanish? <laughs> If you're Spanish, uh, it's a plus. Hi, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. <laughs> oh my God, el pelo. Hey. But my best yeah. friend um, was um, 
on the road with Mark Anthony. Uh-huh. And he was doing great, you know, all the then they went to Puerto Rico and yeah. he and he's from he was from El Paso. Uh his name was Freddy Soto and he could not he had so much trouble switching it to Spanish because his Spanish was Spanglish, you know what I mean? Oh, like, right. So he he couldn't switch his he couldn't figure it out. So he c- didn't get to do the the Spanish part? Yeah. Does Mark Anthony need a person now? Mark. I'm ready. That was... No, it's hard to flip. That was a long time ago, though. It was, but it was it's hard really to hard for him yeah. to flip. Yeah. He tried. He did. But now I feel like people are doing it more, like Tom Segura yes. has done it. Yeah. Uh, Marcelo. Uh, si. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, and yeah. Jesus Trejo is doing Francisco it. Francisco Ramos. Si. si. Francisco Ramos. Francisco, por Ramos. Fabrizio. <laughs> Everybody. No, but it's hard. But it's good. I like that. Especially if it's the same night like um and and now that like people know when, once they know that you do it in spanish they'll call like i had i had to do a show in uh michigan and i'm like you guys have spanish people in michigan it was huge <laughs> it was like this huge latino crowd i don't know if you're aware but they get in and they get oh, around <laughs> yes <laughs> they go everywhere they go to detroit yes go see them in detroit that's great yeah. so you had to do a spanish speaking show in spanish show but then i they i did the same thing in colorado and they were like we want it the same night and i was like oh like oh, i couldn't shit. Yeah, so i had hard. to literally like like the show Shows over. Good night. The opener, you know, a different opener because he wasn't. So it was an English opener, and then the Spanish. Right. And then I was like, "Change your brain," because here in twenty minutes, you're on. Fuck, that's hard. And it was really hard. Yeah, like I had to kind of do crowd work for ten minutes to kind of just like take a break. Yeah, yeah. Get yeah. yourself. ¿Qué pasa into contigo? Cuéntame la cosa. And then I was like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so awesome. It's, I can barely speak English, so listen. I think it's fascinating. <laughs> but not only you did it in Spanish, you did it in Spain. You shot I did, the well, special. Because I go to Spain to see my family, and then I actually got kind of bored. I was like, okay, these reunions are getting kind of, uh, <laughs> you know, what's going on? And then 10 years ago, Spanish, Spanish stand-up, it was already there, but it was really starting to blow yeah. up. And I was like, open mics in Spanish? What's that like? Yeah. And I just started hitting them. And now, of course, it's insane because of the internet and social media. It's like everybody knows everyone. Everyone who performs here, they know that. Like, it's wow. crazy. That's so cool. Yeah. So they'll be like, ay, pero a mí me encanta Mark Norman. <laughs> you know, they'll like talk Mark like that. Norman. And you're like, wait, I heard that. I heard, I found it. It's like a puzzle. You're saying Mark, right? You're saying sí. Mark. <laughs> Is that a Mark in there? Sí. That's great. Yeah. But it's, it's, uh, it's pretty nuts. Well, yeah, you're right. The internet makes the world a lot smaller. And it's everywhere. I mean, yeah. you could go to like, you know, Timbuktu, wherever that is. Like, you right. know, Where Saskatchewan. Is I don't know. That's amazing to think about. Where's Timbuktu? Lee, are you playing video games? What's happening <laughs> right now? Oh, he's just rubbing one out. He keeps speaking Spanish. He's like, Timbuktu. <laughs> Where is I that? I never heard of hold, it. Hold on. I mean, I've is heard of it. Is that a real place? I, I, I felt it was like something my mother said she was going to send me to. There it is. Timbuktu. Oh. It's in Mali. Wow. Duh, let's pretend like we knew. Where's Mali? <laughs> <laughs> I've done it. What? It's uh, in Asia. I'm kidding. Uh, it's duh, it's 20 kilometers from um It's in Africa. it's in Africa. Oh my god, I was way off. It's I had a, no a, idea. <laughs> officially the Republic of Mali is a landlocked country in West Africa. Yeah, it's that sovereign state that French consists of 19 speaking. regions. You they know? speak French, but everybody knows it's, it's yeah. in the middle of the Sahara Desert. That's, that's I mean, right. Don't you remember? Everybody, <laughs> did you not learn that in school? Did I mean, what kind know? of? I can't read fast that enough. It was bordered to north by Algeria. <laughs> you knew that, right? I did. I did because I saw it right there. Uh, anyway, the song "How right, a Great Empire" man. absorbed the empire <laughs> in 1468. When you first started doing stand-up, you never thought of doing it in never. Spanish. Never. You, did, you oh were my like, God, oh, never. it's impossible. It wasn't even a thing. I would go to Spain. It wasn't like you would see, like, open mic at the bar paella, you know? <laughs> right, 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 right. Like, it wasn't a thing. And then you start walking around, and you're like, what's going on? So you know? you're in New York. You're doing stand-up. Any interest in going to Los Angeles? Or you're like, that's too I far tried from. it. Yeah. Oh, really? I tried it. And I, I, I don't know. I was sad. You could say it. You could say I it. I was so sad. You came out here. And I got really depressed. I get it. 
I was, I'm still with the same guy. (laughs) I'm still with the same guy, but we started dating out here. Okay. And, uh, and then I said, I stayed for six months and I said, I love you, but I hate my life. Goodbye. Was he from here or? He was working here. He's oh. a writer here. So I left and then he came to New York to live with me. Smart. Right? Smart. No, I mean, he says it's for his son. He has a son in New York. Okay. A child. With, yeah. that lives oh, we know what mother. a son is. I mean, I'm, I didn't want you to think he was like a college kid. And he's like, I'm like, you're like, he can live on his own. He was like a little kid. <laughs> you're like, I know what that means. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he brought the sun yes. with him. Um, wait. Yeah. So, <laughs> so he was, he, but you could write New York as a writer. You can write. No, anywhere. no. So now, so, so yes. Yeah, so we've been living there for six years, mm-hmm. but now ironically, like he's back here and I, that's why I'm here. Cause he oh, writes shit. here. So, uh, um, so then I was like, cool, let's go. Yeah. You're like, I I'm, love it here when it's like two weeks. Don't get me wrong. I love it. Got it. Get it. Yeah. And But like coming to the comedy store, was that a goal? Was that you didn't give a shit? You were like, I just want to work. I just wanted to do like three or four shows a night. And mm-hmm. it, that's not a thing out here. It's impossible with the driving and the... And it's, in New York, it's you It's possible, do, but it's not... You'll, you'll cut great. your head off. You'll kill I've yourself. I've done it. I've done... Yeah. I've killed people. Yeah. Because yeah. you're driving so fast. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, we have three rooms here. And then if you do the improv in the Laugh Factory, which is right. pretty close. Yeah. It's when you get... Get into uh, like the haha or flappers, or you have yeah. to go to Los Feliz, and and I've done it. Yeah, but I'm fucking gunning it, right? White knuckling it from Long Beach Lab Factory back to the Comedy Store, and that's the other like thing, like midnight or one thirty. I feel like out here you have to do, you have to go on the road because like the money's not that great in the city, right? Right, and, and you only can make money in the main room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The main I room. didn't mean it about this place. I no, mean no, no. in general. I, no, yeah, but every other yeah, club yeah, is yeah. basic. Yeah. No offense, but you know what I'm saying. It's, basic, she says. <laughs> you bitches is basic, but yeah. the, I'm saying literally yeah. like the only room that you can kind of make money in yeah. is the main room of the comedy store. You you make like, you know, normal city spots. Right. Is what uh, my friend always calls it. Yeah, it's city spot money. I'm like, that's right. all right, bitch. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, that's the that's norm. Yeah. The norm around. And the only different one is the main room. Right. Um, because you can. They she, Mitzi always did it where it was a percentage of the door. Uh-huh. So it's 50-50 and then it's just split through the comics. So yeah. you always, even when we were dead here, people would get excited to have a main room spot. Because yeah. it was like, there was a while where they were paying $15 a set. Yes, I remember so, that. That's when I get... first passed here. That was like right before COVID. Oh, wow. It was yeah. 15 then? I, I got thought it checks. went up to 20. Well, maybe it was, but it was like, yeah, yeah I'd get I was these like, little checks. Oh. It would add up. I'd be like 15 and then there were like 10 of them. <laughs> and I was like, sweet. Sweet, yeah. this is killer. Wait, when yeah. did you get passed here? What year? I got passed, um, COVID is 2019. Wait, let me think. I think I left here in 2017. Okay. Yeah. So that's Adam. Adam passed me. Nice. Yeah. And yeah, because he was the one, it got so busy. Yeah. When Adam and Eric Anderson took this place over, it got so busy that they had no choice but to raise the money. Mm. Because it was like, but, but prior to that, there was like, 10 people here, yeah. eight people here. We were going through what we call the dead years. And we'd have pockets of good nights. Yeah. But the the club was just, I, I, me and Polly always say that the owner, Mit, Polly's mom, Mitzi, she was sick and the club was sick with her. Like it was weird. Oh, wow. Because her yeah. health was declining. Yeah. And so was the club. Yeah. Because her touch wasn't wasn't present anymore. Does that make sense? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I never got to meet her. Like, the, I came, I came, like... Yeah. She, yeah. I mean, she, uh, she, when she passed, even before she passed away, she wasn't here for, like, oh, okay. maybe a good eight years. Okay, So it was yeah. hard. Uh, not eight. Eight's long. Six. Yeah. Because <laughs> she would still watch videos at home. Like, they would record the showcases. Uh-huh. So it was hard. But Adam, when Adam took over, it was just Adam. Yeah. You didn't have to go through Mitzi anymore. You didn't have to. Right. And we never had that before. Yeah. It was always, you know, we had a talent coordinator, but he was basically a middleman that handed uh, yeah. Mitzi. Oh, this person wants a showcase. 
and then she would watch it. Like Tommy was a middleman. Yeah. Uh, we had Duncan Trussell. I don't know if you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he was miserable. <laughs> he was like, I don't want to do this. Yeah. I just want to be a comic. Yeah. And then he got in, whatever. But she loved him. So whatever. And there was like Princess Corey and this guy, Scott. They, there was a million of them, but they were all middle people. Yeah. Because Adam and Emily are the only two that like, you have to be seen by them and passed by them. Right, 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 right. It's a, it's harder, I think. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, Mitzi was I pretty tough. That day. Yeah. Huh? I remember that day when I passed. Yeah? yeah, yeah what yeah. was your showcase like? Where did you showcase? It was at the OR. Nice. And uh, on a Monday or a regular I think regular it was a night? Monday, yeah. And then Adam was like, well, you're sticking around, right? You're not going back to New York. And I was like, yeah. I mean, I thought I was, right? Yeah. So I stuck around for like six months. And then I was like, I hate it here. <laughs> and I mean, for me to leave, like, I thought the relationship was over with my boyfriend. Right. Because I was like, I try to be here, but I can't. It's I hard. just couldn't find the momentum to just do so many. Because I was, I was doing so many shows in New York. Yeah. You know, just running around, running around. Yeah, because you can walk. Plus, the cellar somewhere. has like, you know, same now, like here. It has four. three or four. You know, I, yeah, it was just the... Well, even then, it was just still the VU and the Fat Black. Mm -hmm. And then you'd run to Gotham. And then you'd run to New York Comedy Club. And it's all walking. And it's all walk. subway. You can take the city bike. I take that city sometimes. City bike's my favorite. Yeah. Everyone yells at me, but I bike I all love it. Over. Yeah. <laughs> me too. It's yeah. my favorite. It's so easy to, like, get anywhere. I say yes to all the spots. And then I just jump Same, on a bike. Because yeah. it's, uh, the like, people are like, oh, get the, do the subway thing. And I'm like, mm, trains... T tend to get fucked over a little bit. Yeah. You know, like, can stop, whatever. Weird shit could happen. It could be late, delayed, all kinds of stuff. So uh, sometimes I'll do it, but for the most part, I do the city bike. Do you wear a helmet? Well, well I like the city bike. What? Do you take the e-bike? or no. do you? Good. I, I'm a peddler. People die on those. I saw. Be very I careful. Yeah. I mean, in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you, yeah. Yeah. But it's, and that's what uh, Rafi was saying. Don't do the electric bike. No. If you're not wearing a helmet. And I'm like, I don't, like, I don't speak. I just pedal. And yeah. I know I should be wearing a helmet. My friend Jen chases me around all the time. Yeah. But I'm not, I just, I'm, I don't know. Okay. I'm looking for an early way out. Okay. I thought it was a kidnapping. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be death. <laughs> Whatever it is. Okay. Well, if you want to kidnap me and yeah. kill me, great. Yeah. I'm open. Um, the other day I was hiking and we saw these like, I swear they were fighter jets or something. Uh -huh. And I was like, and they were low. Wait, out here? Yes. Okay. And I, I, was, I go, what the fuck is that? My friend looked up. She goes, those are armies. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what? <"What>? Five? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> those are army jets. <laughs> like, but it was, it was like military jets oh. of some sort. They were low too. And then there was helicopters behind it. And I was like, what if they're going to drop a bomb? And I'm like, I'm right here. Oh. I, was like, I was like, Isn't yelling. there a part of you that's kind of excited <laughs> to live the apocalypse like you're like i get to experience i want to see it yeah. yeah well would we remember it no but i mean the it was it would be exciting it'd be like it'd be like you know the zombie show that walking dead like oh yeah, the end, yeah, yeah you'd have you know do you want to be a zombie first quick do i want to be one like if the oh ugh, if please the kill me before I, I become one Please. Ooh, like, right, I but, die. But they make you a zombie, or do you want to, like, stay uh, human? I want to stay human. Really? I want to fight. Okay. Yeah. I want to be that girl who's all dirty with, like, sleepless <laughs> shirts on, and she's like, fuck you! And then she's got the, the sword thing. The wooden, yeah. yeah. Is it a she's wood thing? The, Are they vampires? No, I think it's a, um, oh, yeah, maybe it's a wood thing. Uh, the I pole? It could be, or metal. I don't know. I watched True Blood. That was my favorite. But True they were vampires. Blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, that's the same thing in Walking Dead, No, but right? True Blood wasn't the apocalypse, though. No. That was just True Blood, living she amongst... Got, she got to fuck them. Yes. That would be fun. Yeah, yeah. And they would go real fat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, very, yeah. Very strange. And and would, do you want to get your the blood sucked out of you? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you would be anemic because we have our period. I am anemic. And then, 
I've been anemic. My whole life. Really? Yeah, so I go up and down an iron. I can feel oh. it, though. Oh, you get really tired? I get really tired, but I also crave, like, like iron, like steak. Blood? Like, yeah, blood, you like blood, basically. Yeah. Spinach is a big one. Okay. Um, But I'll be like, oh, I got to get a spinach salad. Like, and I'm like, oh, my iron must be low. Like, yeah. And during the pandemic, they were like, yo, you're low, like low. And she uh. was putting me on iron pills. Yeah. And I completely changed my diet because I was like, oh, I know how to fix. I, I've had it my whole life. So right. Just, and then I went back and she goes, what did you do? And I was like, I know how I to... drank blood. <laughs> I did. I'm a vampire. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these fangs. Uh, no, but that that can be very scary because I remember when I was anemic, I was extremely tired. I have very low blood pressure too. Do you ever have do you have anything in your like system where the doctor's like, what Are is, you okay? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> what? And I can always tell too. They're like, I'm like, is it my blood pressure? Yeah. <laughs> Are you alive? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Will you please breathe? Just try breathing. <laughs> it's like yeah. death becomes her. Yeah. Are you are you sure? And then the doctor just faints. Uh, uh-huh. Did you ever see that? No. <laughs> you looked at me like, I don't know that one. Is that Meryl Streep? Yes. Yes. My hero. Oh, yeah. And, uh, but she, yeah, she's dead, obviously, because she took this like weird medicine to look younger. Uh-huh. And, uh, but, but like the doctor's like, Feeling everything, he's like, ah, uh, her, her 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 pulse is uh 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 her pulse like he couldn't even get it out. Yeah. Sydney Pollock, yeah, it's so good. Wait, so she's dead? Yeah. Okay, I'll watch it. It's really good. I'll watch it. Um, yeah, you have to watch it. For years, it was one of my favorites, and I did not know Bruce Willis was the doctor, oh. another doctor. Yeah, yeah, I loved him. He's so yeah, yeah but his. He's wearing, like, weird makeup. Yeah. So you don't even recognize. Even the way he's talking, he does it different. Yeah. And I literally was like, oh, my God, that's Bruce Willis. But I watched it, like, a bunch of times before I realized it was him. Do you, like, see a lot of stars out here? Well, yes, and watch? I love that you get excited about that. I but do. I, can I say this? Like, I was at the cellar uh, yeah. a couple weeks ago. I, I forget what it was. And every comic was like, hey, guess who's in there? And of course, I can't even remember who he is. Yeah. Uh, but he was in. Shit, he's handsome. <laughs> oh my god! And he was in like Twenty Seven Dresses or something. The reporter, who's that? What's his name? He was like the reporter who uh, followed her around and bothered him. Him, James. James Madsen. Yeah. No. Mars- Marsden. Marsden. James Madsen. I know. Oh, I mean, he's cute. Yeah. I would not see. I would never know who that was. No, not at all. If like, I if, saw that guy, I was he like, was he's sitting an actor. on my lap. Yeah, no, never. Idea. No, he's not that famous. What happened to that guy? That's oh. the one they were excited about. Yeah, because Amy Miller was like, "Oh, I love him in Jury Duty." I go, "What's Jury Duty?" And I never saw it. I've heard of Jury Duty, but there's too much now to know everybody. Like, yeah. Oh, but that's who the, the comics said, got I, excited about him. The comics were so excited. That's the so New funny. York comic, and I was like, yeah. "Oh, okay." And then, uh, but uh, working here, there's so much more here. Unbelievable! It's crazy. But it's yeah. always been. I mean, like, yeah. I, I mean, the owner's son is Paulie Shore. You know right. what I mean? So it's like, and then they'd all come to see Paulie. And I, I remember working parties where like Mickey Rourke's here. You yeah, know? we've waited on. I've waited on Stevie Wonder. Quite a few times, Keanu Reeves was here. You That's know what I mean? Insane. I one time yeah. I was waiting on Keanu Reeves, and Mitzi was in the room. And so when Mitzi's here, you just do your job. You yeah. don't even make eye contact. You don't fucking smile at the yeah. comics. You just put drinks down. So I was doing my thing, and I look out the big window in the original room, and all the fucking waitresses are out there. And I'm like, you motherfuckers, right? Uh-huh. And I'm like, Mitzi's going to flip out. And I was in charge of the waitresses. Uh-huh. So I, I put the drink down, and then I walk away. And I go, what the fuck are you girls doing out there? Like, it's Keanu Reeves. I go, I don't give a fuck. I didn't even know it was yeah. him. Yeah, you're like, oh, <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was mad. I yeah. was like, get back in there. Because I was like, Mitzi's here. And they were like, oh, whatever. We just want to see Keanu Reeves. And I'm like, well, what if? fuck is he sitting? And they're like, you just brought him a drink. And I'm like, oh, when Mitzi's here, I didn't care. It it could have been anybody, but I was too focused. But if I saw that from the stage, I would lose my mind. (laughs) Like, do you guys put the celebrities in the in like the middle or in he the back? He was literally sitting right to the side. Like, if you're, uh, this is the OR stage. He was yeah. in the corner. He was right by the window. Yeah, that's why the girls were out there. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So they could see him. Stevie Wonder sat over there. Um, 
We've had Whoopi Goldberg, Chevy Chase. Like, we had Richard Pryor yeah. a whole year here. That's, so, I mean, I would, I would, I think out. I'd shit in my pants. Yeah. And we, we get to talk to him, hang out. He called me a bitch from stage. Very exciting stuff. Yeah. Listen, at least he talked to you. Yeah, right? right? <laughs> well, we did talk all the yeah. time because I was like the manager of the bar. Staff. Oh, okay. I wasn't a comic. I worked right. for Mitzi. You know, I was her assistant. And so I had to do like. So you weren't a comic till like later, years No, later? I waited tables here for 12 years, left oh. and came back a year and a half as a comic. That's yeah. mental illness. I Wait, think. so you didn't even think about being a comic for those all those years? It never crossed your mind? Brilliant actress. No one noticed. Oh, I remember you and your yeah. movies. <laughs> Freddie Soto used to say, if I go see you in one more play, ah! where you're, by the way, I came out here to do plays. That's a whole yeah. other story. Yeah. But if I go see you in one more play where you get ripped by the whole football team. <laughs> How many, no wonder you want to get kidnapped. Was, you miss your job. <laughs> Why were you constantly? But I was always <laughs> these depressing, because yeah. I could cry on cue. Oh my, can you still cry? Probably. Do it. No. Who's in my, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I uh, used to cry on cue. Today, Thursday? Yeah, I literally... I used to cry on cue. I did it to my yeah. mom, and she was like... Uh, she called me Jezebel for years. Uh-huh. Uh, everything... Okay. Um, she called me Jezebel for years because, like, I want something. Yeah. And, I mean, I could just fucking... But see, I... Go. When you were a kid. Oh, yeah. But even as an adult, like... See, yeah. In a scene? Yeah. Easy. I, I discovered it when I was a kid because I got really into my dolls and I'd be like, my doll would be like, your mother left you. I'll take care of you. And then I would cry with the doll. Like, I'd be like, no, I'm fine. Ah! And then my mom was like, why are you crying? I'm like, I don't know. I just came out. I got so into this doll. Like, I got so into the scene. That's so funny. That I would cry with the doll. Isn't that weird? But the doll didn't really cry. No, but I was like, it was empathy. It was like I was there with her. You felt for her. I felt for the dolls. Your mother left you. And then one time, (laughs) one time my sister was like, you can't do it. You're such a liar. And I was like, okay, fine. Like, I I feel like I should try it one day to see if I can still do it. To real? Oh, yeah. I do it. But I feel like it would take me a long time because I've taken acting classes and... it would take me a long time to cry. Do you think uh, uh, being a comic desensitizes? To Maybe, you? yes. You definitely I agree. For sure. Y- yeah, you're because uh, there's lots of times as a comic I want to cry and I yeah. hold it in. Yes. <laughs> but I'll tell you what yes. I learned in acting class. That was another weird thing. Like when I, like you're talking about like celebrities, whatever. I, when I took acting class, I went to Playhouse West. I went to a bunch, but Playhouse West was one of them. And Jeff Goldblum was our teacher. Uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> He's so flirty. Oh, yeah. He flirted with me Aww. once. And then I heard really? he flirted. I was like, I'm special. And then I found out he flirted with everyone. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, then, and then, like, he was single Yeah. Um, when I was there. And, like, in between, I remember, like, in between. So, like, a lot of times he was dating. Like, he'd be like, why didn't you guys rehearse? And I'm like, you took her to Hawaii. Like, she wasn't here. Yeah. <laughs> you went away with her. Yeah. So, and, and um, the the class, it was Meisner technique. Oh, my gosh. So, it's like you're wearing a, a beige shirt. Right. Wearing a beige shirt. You know, you just go back and forth, back and right. forth. And their advertising was that they had Jim Carrey and Damon Wayans there. Yeah. So, I go, oh, so I know Damon and... Um, Jim Carrey didn't come here as much as Damon Wayans, you know, later because Jim blew up because of Damon from, uh, what was the name of his sketch show? Oh, that show. Oh, In Living Color. In Living Color. Yeah. The best, the best. So Damon and Keenan, they were here every night. Like all the way, Sean, Marlon, or whatever. So Damon was here one night and I go, hey, Damon. And I'm waiting tables. I'm not a comic. I go, did you ever go to Playhouse West? He goes, he almost like choked on his drink. He goes, what? And I go, you guys, did you and Jim Carrey go to Playhouse West? And he goes, oh my God, who told you that? And I go, it's on the fucking wall at Playhouse West. And he goes, "We they did Earth Girl are easy together. Jim, uh, Jeff Goldblum, Jim Carrey, and Damon Wayans, because Damon and Jim were young. Yeah, yeah. Jeff might have been a little bit of a bigger star, but so he goes, and so Jeff asked us to come to his dumb acting class. Oh, my And they would go, but they would like, 
like they would be like, you're too ugly to be a comic or you're too ugly to be an actor. You know, you got and then people would cry like they wow. would make people cry because yes. <laughs> they would just roast them. Yeah. And then they would just mock everything and they eventually got kicked out. So oh they never went. God. But they used their name to yeah. say Jim they Carrey and was here. <laughs> <Wayne> yes. When <laughs> they here. made people cry. What a great credit. But yeah. I was like, oh, okay, so now I feel better. Like, I, like I, I feel more relaxed because yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm not stepping up to par, you know. Yes. Because like, I'm finding it odd. The You're wearing a beige shirt, you're wearing a beige shirt. I get tough. the exercise, yes. but yes. at the same time, I'm like, can we just do a scene? Right. You know? Right. I understand they need you to do the... But doing stand-up and acting, like, at some point, because I was still taking yeah. acting class, I was like, I can't do it. It's too much. Yeah, they didn't take it serious, because I, 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 Damon got me my SAG card, so yeah. when I was on a movie set with him, and he was, I go, don't you guys have a scene? It was bulletproof with him and Adam Sandler. Yeah. And I go, don't you guys have a scene? Like, do you want to run lines or something? Because he was helping me and another girl here, Lauren, get our SAG cards. Yeah. So he just put us in the movie. You get, like, whatever, the vouchers. Right. So he goes, um, I go, do you want to run lines or something? Because I'm thinking, a movie set, right. <laughs> run lines, you know? And he yeah. goes, I don't give a shit about the scene. I was like, okay. <laughs> and then him and Adam just went out and killed it. Like, yeah. But it was so funny because it was more oh natural. Oh, my God. But yeah. now as a comic, I look at that and I go, oh, because we're so in the moment now. Right. And, like, when you're acting, you kind of think about it. Right. Kinda, I it's mean, so there different. are people that morph, but watching them, like, do a scene live, yeah. I was like, wow, that was fucking hilarious. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and they yeah. they weren't sitting, studying, freaking out. Right. They just, it, it, they were living the moment. And right. It wasn't a great movie. It's it kind of like how Curb is like, as long as you yes. talk about this. Here's the premise. Right. Let's run with get it. through this. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and that's why Curb's so much fun to watch. Oh, yeah. Everybody on there crushes. Or, like, came up with a line on their own without... It was yeah, even yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I think I was watching, like, a behind-the-scenes, and they were like, anything to make Larry David laugh. Yeah. Like, if you could make Larry David laugh, I would kill to be on that. Oh, my God. It's over, huh? Can you please hire us? Thank you. It's never too late. Can you bring it back? <laughs> Larry, Larry David, can you bring it back? Any show. Before she gets kidnapped, please hire us. I'm going to spit this. I'm going to spit this right on if that you TV. Could, if you could get a scene right before you get kidnapped, your yeah. kidnapping would make you famous. Amazing. What do you think? <laughs> I think it would work. I think it could work. Like, you just saw her on Curb, and right. she's gone. <laughs> I can, and then that's and there's it. There's a missing picture, but it's yeah. my headshot, so yeah. people think I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> They're always good. To, yeah, it's like <laughs> she must be fine. <laughs> She's fine, murdered, but fine. <laughs> Who does that? I think it's Nate. Uh, I don't want to say his name wrong. Bergatti. Bergatti, yeah. Bergatti. Uh, so he had a, I think it's his bit where he's like, my parents had pictures of us in case we got kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a funny idea. Oh, like, is he missing? Wallet? Hold on a second. Wait, I, I got the this picture. picture. That's great. I think it was Nate. And he's just so funny to me. Yeah. I didn't come up with him, so I don't know. But uh, New York Comics versus LA Comics. Like, what am I supposed what to is do? The Pick difference? one? Yeah. Oh. Like, what do you think the difference is? I mean, I haven't been here in so long. Mm -hmm. It's, but I feel like, um, I feel like there's more, maybe not so much now, but before it was more about like New York was about the writing. And mm -hmm. I like, I always thought LA was better at performing. Yeah. And you could see that on shows like um, Chelsea Handler's show. Yeah. Like on panels. Okay. They were just, people were more charismatic and open. And then, like, the curmudgeon -y, funny joke writers would be, like, from New York. <laughs> you know, it'd be like, hi, I'm Ben. And they'd be like, yeah, <laughs> you know? You know? We have to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't no, know. No, but I see what you're saying. What I mean? like, yeah. like, that writer, like, also, like, um, you know, you would go, like, a, like in a tell. Like, yes. David Tell could just not, I remember, um, Chelsea Peretti as well. Yeah. Who, uh, brilliant writer. Brilliant. Yeah. And she, I believe she started in New York. Yeah, I think uh, so. And so, but uh, Dave too, like they could say, they just go on stage and they just don't move, right? Yeah. But they're, what they're saying is crushing. Right. And one time, Chelsea Peretti was on stage and me and Sebastian were sitting in the best, Sebastian Maniscalco, and 
I guess every, there's only one Sebastian. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean. You mean Sebastian and Jones? <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian. Uh, so, and so we were sitting in the back and I, Sebastian might have been on after. I yeah. might have opened the show. Okay. And so we were just sitting in the back and Sebastian looked at me. He goes, she doesn't move. Because <laughs> <laughs> he moves so you, much. Yes, yes. He's such he a wah. <laughs> like, he, he moves just to say that line. He's a, he's a jumper. Yeah, 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 he's so animated. Yeah. But but it was it made me laugh so hard because she was literally slaying. Yeah. And I, I believe the, I, I'll butcher the bit, but it was something about being in a body bag. <laughs> So she, her body was even more like this, and she was yeah. like talking out. Oh, it was such a silly oh bit, my God. but it was k- crushing. Yeah. And Sebastian's like, she doesn't move. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember when I first started, I wouldn't move. And I remember like industry every once in a while, like in a festival, would be like, you need to do improv and shake that body, like loosen up. Whoa. You know what I mean? Like, get it out of your system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was like, I wasn't even trying to be that. I was like, nerves, here we go. Here's my joke. Right. One, two, three. I'm scared, you know? And you're, I I, I like, you're, you're good at, like, deadpan, if you will. Like, like, you say a joke and you don't laugh at it. You know I think I mean? it's because I'm thinking about, like, trying to keep my shit together. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But some people do a joke and they'll be like... <laughs> Right. I'm like, oh, is that the audience is cute to laugh? Like, <laughs> right, guys? I, Isn't that great? Larry? I'm funny. <laughs> yeah. If I laugh at the end, everybody yeah. else will. <laughs> right. Isn't that great? Sorry. <laughs> that was my ding dong laugh. <laughs> I used to do the ding dong show with Don Barris. <laughs> do your ding dong laugh. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so creepy. I that will not get you kidnapped. Don't ever do that again. That was so scary. I used to play this guy Mole's girlfriend in Don uh, Barris's Ding Dong show, and Mole would anything he would say, be like, right? And I'd be like, ha ha ha, and I would just wow. la- it was awful. Yeah, it was like a machine gun that everybody wanted to just kill. They were like, shut that fucking thing up. But it was just to annoy people. Wow. I'm so, like, I feel like I just saw (laughs) the devil. It is. Yeah. It is. But interesting. It was my acting job. No, I was going to say that while, while I was waiting tables. Yeah. That was my acting. Every yeah. Monday I would be in the Ding Dong show yeah. for years. <laughs> and I would walk up the steps real hard. I was like, I, people were paying attention to me. But if you want to get rid of somebody, you <laughs> yeah. could throw that laugh in their face. Well, that's like a you, good idea. Right? Yeah. Like, if, it, like seriously, if yeah. you're at a bar and, and you're being approached by the wrong and Somebody's person. hitting on me and I'm like, mm, not interested. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, my God. That is so intense. <laughs> Even the fifth time is like, like I've never seen it before. Holy shit. <laughs> I, just, I wish I had something <laughs> like that. <laughs> I, I wish I had that trick. Uh, I can't do it. (laughs) (laughs) Ew! (laughs) It's your eyes, too. (laughs) I mean, that's a compliment. Ew! (laughs) I mean, ew as a great character role. (laughs) Great. That's acting. Me and uh, Rick, my co host, Rick Ingram, he always, we do the morning radio. Uh-huh. And so he'll be like, what, 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 whatever morning yeah. radio. And then I'll, I just laugh, girl. Do you ever uh-huh. notice there's always a, a sidekick right, woman course. that laughs? So yeah. I always, ha, <laughs> I can't even look her in the eye. So I mix yes. Ding Dong with yeah. Laugh Girl right there. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean but, to scare anybody. Yeah, it's not as scary when you're not looking into your eyes. <laughs> you know? Like, if I just hear it from the side, <laughs> it's if you, okay. If you just hear it, you're like, oh, all right, there's like a fucking If I saw out. you in a tunnel in Central Park, <gasps> I would lose my fucking <laughs> mind. <laughs> You'd be like, is that the pigeon woman? Or is, that, is that how she gets the birds? By the way, I saw a real pigeon person in New York. Oh, they're everywhere. There's one in Astoria. Oh, shit. Yeah. Is it a dude, like a Adonis-looking dude? I mean, I've seen those and they have birds all over them. Fuck. Yeah, but there's people that just hand out bread and I'm like, can you stop? He he yeah. was sitting on a bench. We were coming from LaGuardia, mm. and we were just stuck in a little bit of traffic. There's always a parade on fucking Sundays. And so yep. we're coming, and or a protest, whatever, and 
Same thing. So we're gonna, yeah, right. So we're coming in and just sitting bored, looking out the window. I was looking, more, and then I just see this guy shredded, gorgeous, tall yeah. guy, oh. long hair. Yeah. Of course, he catches my eye, and I, I he looked like he just may or may not have broken out of prison. <laughs> like he had the weird shoes but, and shorts only. I didn't That's the naked cowboy. See top. <laughs> I wish yeah. it wasn't that. Him. Oh. That guy's a little shorter. This guy's tall. This yeah. guy was beautiful, and I was like, the f-? like he looked like the the chief Indian from um, Cuckoo's Nest. Like tall, oh, like wow. that. And he was yeah. dark. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And long hair. And I was like, whoa. And then and I was telling my friend, look, look at that dude. And he had the little bag like yeah. rolled over and everything with the seeds in it. And he had them all. One, some sitting on his legs, on his. Ew, those shoulders. are like flying rats. Agreed. So germy. I'm like, dude. Yeah. And it, he's trying to get this one from the sidewalk that wouldn't come to him. And yeah. He, you know, everybody else is like waiting, like, motherfucker. You know, I go, they're going to gouge his eyes out. Yeah, they're, I mean, I have one pigeon. I have one. I'm sorry? I don't own it, but I mean, it's in. It's outside of my window and it comes over and I think it's the same pigeon. And I think is it it's trying to give you a message? No, my landlord died and now there's a pigeon <gasps> by the window. And I'm wondering if it's my landlord. No, but it comes over. Like, I'll turn on the music and it'll just be like, <laughs> and I'm like, nothing, like, it loves music. And I think it's the same pigeon every... Oh, my God. Yeah. Is it maybe... But I won't touch it. Is your I landlord won't. trying to tell you to turn it down or Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. The rent is due. <laughs> Who knows? Such a weird thing. <laughs> this is getting weird. I kind of like it. <laughs> getting? I kind of like yes, it. Yes, yeah. It sounded oh. like you were into this guy, though, Eleanor. You're like this I Adonis. Was. He was so handsome. No, I'm, You're serious. Going, I'm a little horny. Over. I get it. But I really was just like, whoa. Would you date the pigeon man? I, no. Really? I mean, I, it, maybe after I showered him, like a silk yeah. scrub down or something, yeah. like I'd have to hose him down hard. You Would he have to give up his job as a pigeon man? Like his hobby? I mean, he'd just have to clean himself before he came in. But he was he was hot. Yeah. And if he was a felon, that's even hotter. That is pretty hot. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Men I'm a with two scars, striker. <laughs> yes. You've been in jail? To jail? No, no. Oh. I'm saying I like him with two strikes because yeah. this way they behave. Because if they don't, I call the police on him and they get that third, third strike. Third strike, you're out. In. Yeah. You're in. Yeah, yeah. I like him with like game. like scars, a couple of bullet wounds, and maybe a knife scar. Not bad. My ex was it's like that. Yeah, very masculine. Of, my ex had a bite mark on his chest. He had a fight with a guy in prison. Is this on air? <laughs> <laughs> my fault. Come on. <laughs> and he had a bite mark. And he, right here on his chest. Was he missing a chunk? The, the dude. It, it actually, it wasn't in prison. It was in the neighborhood. That's right. It was. What? He, but he did do jail time yeah. for like three years, but the guy bit him and wouldn't let up so you could see the guy's teeth. Do you think he was trying to get to his heart? Like Probably. bite his heart out? Probably. They were just fighting. I mean, yeah. and he grew up in Los Angeles. He grew up uh, in Atwater Village. In yeah. Like Echo, um, what's that called? Silver Lake. Okay. Like out by that way. And um, so it was different when he was growing up and it was a lot of gang oriented stuff so he was always fighting yeah and um this was like a t- like one of the toughest guys and and then my ex was getting the better of him yeah and so his resort was to bite him so he still has teeth marks on his yeah, chest yeah it doesn't go away if you puncture the skin like Damn. that i got scars that yeah go, scars don't go away yeah i have a hernia scar but i don't have anything that fighting i mean <laughs> I like, yeah i don't have any <laughs> it's like the jaws scene my scars are on the inside <laughs> <laughs> I have scoliosis scars on the inside. It's so hard to clean the inside when you're in the shower and just letting it run. How do you get those back brace marks <laughs> off your back? Oh, my God. I wish I'd kept like, it. I guys really come in that? It. What? Oh, oh, my God. No, I'm can't. dirty. I apologize. You can't get it sticky in there. Plus, I was in the seventh grade. No, I know. But, oh, yeah, you're right. But yeah. I'm saying when you took it off and you had the mark, track marks. Oh, my God. It was sweaty in there. <laughs> It was nasty. I had to wear um, my father's um, <laughs> <laughs> my father's tank tops because uh, the the like the plaster yeah would rub against my skin. <laughs> so I was like, I need something thin, and my mom was like, you wear Hanes. <laughs> 
men's. Uh, so I had to wear that. Uh, it's like oh Judy Gold, go upstairs and put on your father's clothes. Oh my God. <laughs> That's yes. my favorite bit. Oh my God. Uh, so you had to wear your dad's clothes. Exciting. Um, wait, what did you have to your dad's Just the shirt. under, just, just the, the under yeah, yeah, garment. Yeah, yeah. Not his like tidy whitey. Of course. Right. <laughs> Hello. But then Wearing I wore daddy's underwear. Yeah. <laughs> and then I wore like big sweaters to cover up the brace. Yeah. Because I was like so embarrassed. And how long did you have to wear it, you said? Like two, two-ish years. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a lot wow. of material to get from that. Oh, yeah. But then someone would bump into me and it was like, oh. oh. <laughs> They're like, what is that? Your back is made of mo- like Don't your muscle. Don't cry for me. <laughs> oh, I didn't. What? Yeah, that's oh. it. I was just thinking you could cry on cue right oh, there. Oh, yeah. That would make you cry on cue. It no, hurt. I mean, I, I did a one-person show on my back brace when I... before. <laughs> <laughs> Literally on your back, <laughs> like you're just standing on it. I hate this thing. <laughs> like I'd be like, if I dropped a pen, it would stay on the floor because I couldn't pick it up because of my No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then, I, oh my God, one time the, the teacher was like, you want to play volleyball? And I was like, <laughs> wasn't allowed to play because, you know, I couldn't move. <laughs> right. And the ball hit my back. How? The ball went flying. It bounced <laughs> off. It was like a wall on my back. It went flying to the other side of the gymnasium. And I was like, people were like, bionic woman. <laughs> like, what is up with her back? I was, it was crazy. Who wants to play wall ball off Carmen's <laughs> back? <laughs> I'll see why not. <laughs> people were just, Carmen, stand right there. Don't move. And just, Don't move. <laughs> that would happen to you in Philadelphia. I hope you know that. Really? They would have played wall ball off your back. Because it, it's a, it'd be like, oh, that's a neat trick. Stay yeah, there. yeah, Let's yeah. Let's see if it works. Yeah. Like, we'd figure out how to play. I should have just went with it. Yeah. Hiding it. You know, I could have uh, been like... But I would have hit it. I would have yeah. been embarrassed. Yeah, yeah of yeah, course. Yeah. I hit everything. Yeah, and me too. And that's why I was always like this. Me too. Yeah, we, we grew up with shame. Oh, so much shame. It's gone now. Yeah, mine's still these. there. My ours lives on. These kids now they're like they show too much. Me. Yeah. yeah. Look at this. I have a scar. I'm like, put right. that away. I'm gonna put it on TikTok. We don't care. <laughs> we don't care about your scars. Yeah. Totally. I mean, we care, but we don't want to see. No, them. we don't care. All right. Maybe no, we not. don't. I don't know you. Okay. Put your scar away. <laughs> <laughs> put your scar away. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, where can we find these fabulous specials? Uh, Carmen, oh, the first one is Queef Week. Queef I love Week it. Is on um, <laughs> Mark Norman's YouTube. Yes. And uh, did he direct it? No, 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 no. Okay. He just put it on his platform. That's amazing. That's so um, cool of him. And that was at the cellar last year. And then three weeks later, I went to Spain and I did, I would never do them so close together. That was insane. I was, exhausted. I thought it was pretty impressive. Yeah. I was like, uh, wow. The Spanish one is on my YouTube. Okay. So, yeah. And Mark and I have the same number of followers, so clearly they're both doing great. <laughs> okay, I believe that. Let's bring it up. Let's. Oh my God! No! <laughs> I just put it up. It was on. Um... Oh, how this fake crime! <laughs> oh my God! Uh, I can't do this. No, si hablas español, uh, it's. Uh... Cállate, putos. Oh, Yes. <laughs> it's just called sleep Carmen Lynch in Espanol. Oh, really? Yeah. That's it. Well, yeah. Queef Carmen Week isn't Lynch translatable, it. really. <laughs> <laughs> Queef Week. <laughs> <laughs> La semana de Queef. <laughs> <laughs> that could work. Yeah. So no, it's just no. Carmen Lynch in Espanol. In Espanol. All right. I yeah. love how the, everything changes. <laughs> like, I have friends, they'll only say Spanish certain words. Yes. So it's like, we were, we went, we went to Mexico and we were in Cancun. And yes. I was like, what happened to Mexico? Right. Like, Mexico, Cancun. Like, yes. if you're going to do it, do it. Right. But it's only like that one other, every other word. It's so funny. Well, it's funny because most people in New York who speak Spanish are Latinos, right? Yeah. So most of the time you'll be like, yeah, I'm Latino, <laughs> you know? And, and I'm like, I want to be like, I'm Española, <laughs> you know, but like, I don't do that, but I want to do that because they have such sass. They yeah. have such like, yeah, of course I'm Latina. Don't give them the sash. Right? Let you have some sash. I'm Española. <laughs> Guys, let's get her numbers up to Norman's numbers. 
<laughs> Overnight. Overnight. Yes. Overnight. But watch Queef Week, please. Queef Week's funny. Thank it's good. you. It's really good. Yes. Uh, I didn't watch the Spanish How one. How dare you? I, <laughs> I you watched Narcos. Does it have subtitles? Narcos is my favorite. Oh. I read. That's yeah. the only book I've read in a while. <laughs> Wait, you read Narcos? Oh, no. oh, yeah. I got to watch Narcos. The subtitles. They, well, it's so good. The guys are gorgeous. Yeah. So, of course, I'm like, oh, the fuck. And yeah. then I get hooked in the guy. I'm like, he, they killed him. Oh, he was gay? Shit. Yeah. Like, I'm not reading. You're not reading. Fast <laughs> enough. <laughs> what is Marty Cohn? Ah, oh, shit. I remember that one. That's a great word. <laughs> it's a great word. Yeah. It is. But, like, I watched that whole series, Narcos Mexico, the first one with Pablo Escobar. Like, I never saw it. I should oh, see it's it. Brilliant. Yeah. It's brilliant. so good. The acting's so good. Bueno. That, oh, what's his name? The guy who got real famous. Oh, the, I love the him. Mexican Burt Reynolds. Pedro. I also mean my boyfriend calls him the Mexican Burt Reynolds. That's what Pedro I Pedro Pascal. Yes, I Encanta. I Bobby Miculo. I oh love my god, him. I love him. Stop. That's He's my mine. guy. No, no, I fell no. in love with him from Me Narcos too. first. <laughs> Me, I you didn't even watch Narcos. I, I knew him in Spain. <laughs> 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 and he's he such a good person baby. too. He is. He's like a good guy. He does like all this charitable work, and he's oh, so yeah, good with his, his sister's family. like trans yes. or something. Yes, oh, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> she, she's so edgy. <laughs> she's, she's so lucky. <laughs> I want to. If I get trans, if I get trans, will Pedro call me? Call me, uh, Pedro. I. <laughs> 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 He's That's why you so like getting handsome. kidnapped because Narcos is all about oh that, isn't God, it? Yeah. I listen. I woke up and I'm like, well, "Am I in a drug deal? Am I a mule?" I, like I, I would watch it so much. Yeah, because you get hooked and then you watch like ten in a row. Yeah, and then they immediately came out with Narcos Mexico. Like it just is so good. Oh like, my I have God. the soundtrack in my car. Oh my God, I play the soundtrack. Did you, did you watch Mandalorian? No, I win. Pedro Pascal. <laughs> Mandalorian. What's that? Oh my God! Is that a Disney movie. Goodbye. No, Star what Wars. Oh, Star Wars. Goodbye. I'm no, here. I won. I'm in a. I'm, I'm on the Earth. He's I'm the not leader. in the space. He's the leader of Mandalorian. No, He's I'm the not star. in space. Boo! I, I win. win in space. <laughs> I win. I already said I won. Narcos Stop was there. first. I won too. There and there. Narcos was first. No, I was first. No. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay. All right. Thank you Bye. so much for being here. She has to go do a spot in Espanol. Does Pedro come to the store? <laughs> yes. He does? No, I don't know. Is he in the original room? I haven't seen him spot? yet. Oh. <laughs> Let's go up and scan for uh, Is Pedro here? <laughs> Pedro, you hablo español. Ella no habla español. Habla conmigo. Cállate, puta. Ay, no se me I only know a few curse words. Oh, that was it. pretty good. Uh, Good night. All right. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget, check out her specials, Queef Week and Carmen Lynch in Espanol. See, and, and at Carmen Comedian for all my socials. And yes. CarmenLynch.com tour dates. There you go. And yeah. then uh, please check out my special, Still No Country for Old Women on oh, the best Comedy name Store. Ever. Best name Thank ever. <laughs> and Pedro Pascal, I love you. Good night. Pedro is mine. <laughs> mine, good night. I want Pedro. I like it. I want I got it. it. I won. I'm here. No country for Espanol. old women. I love you. Bye. Good night. I love you.